So a lot of you guys have been asking me the question, how does the XPT system work? And if you guys do know how to work, what is the fastest way to get it leveled up? And I'll explain to you the fastest way that I found to level it up, but I will tell you guys, it is a grind no matter which way you guys decide to level this up. There are right now three different ways that you guys can level up the expertise system. So if you head over to Recalibration Station, you'll see the library, the station itself, the optimization, and now you have this new section that says expertise, and you have everything, right? You have your gear, you have your weapons, you have your skills, you have your brand sets, and then you have your green builds. And if you notice, I am currently expertise level two, so that means the highest level that I can push my pieces to is level two. So let me go look. The first level is gonna be proficient, and that's going to be once you get past rank 10, and I'll show you that in a second. Then the next level is going to be expertise one, and then expertise two for me is gonna be maxed out until I get to expertise three. As you guys see on the top left, I need to become proficient to get more of those, right? So that's just letting you know, and I am proficient two out of 344 different items, which is kind of crazy, right? So let's back up. Let's go to something so you guys can see. Let's go to the ARs and let's head over to the Kingbreaker because I think that'd be a good example because I've been using it a little bit, not too much. But if you notice, we are proficient rank two. Now you need to get proficient rank 10 to be proficient, yes, proficient. Now, a way to level up this king breaker would be one, donating king breakers to it, right? Not, not donating the same type of weapon class. You need to donate a king breaker, at least for the name one. Or if it's if you're just trying to level up the AKMs or the police M4s, well, you donate police M4s, and there's going to be an option right now. You can see that it says donated selected is grayed out because I don't have any there. Now, besides that, you can donate materials. So if I hit L2, I can donate materials right here. You have receiver components, and if you look, it's going to give me more XP. It's gonna give me 5,000, and if I click it, it's gonna take out 400 of this. So I'm gonna do it just because, um, let me see, should I use this one? I'm gonna use a protective fa fabric, sorry. So let's do this. So I did it, wait, hold on. Oh, no, no, sorry. There you go. So I donated the resource and there you go. You saw it, it shot up and it, it gave me XP. Now you could donate all materials, but don't hit that because you definitely don't want to do that because a lot of these materials, at least right now, you guys are making builds, right? You're recalibrating, you're, you're re-rolling stuff. So all of that is going to cost you materials or maybe you're crafting. So I recommend don't waste your materials right now until you get your builds 100% set and then maybe you can waste this stuff. But as of right now, I wouldn't recommend doing that at all because before you know it, you'll be out of materials and you'll be in the red and you'll be like, dang, this really sucks. So yeah, that is the second way for you guys to do it. Now, the third way is just using the weapon itself. And that's gonna be the way most of you and I am leveling this up. Just playing with the weapons, playing with the gear sets, playing with the builds themselves. So back up real quick and I'll show you we have, right there, I have the Heartbreaker set, right? So I have four pieces of Heartbreaker. Now, question, do you get more XP if you have more than one piece? Yes, you do. So obviously, if you're running gear sets, you're always gonna have four pieces most of the time. So you're gonna get more XP for those pieces. So those pieces will technically level up faster. Now, other pieces that you only run as a one piece, yeah, they're gonna take a little bit longer. So there might only be, be be half the proficiency that you have depending on how many pieces you're running. Like this one, we have proficiency rank two. So that is something you guys need to keep in mind when you guys are doing this. Now, if you look right here, you have the King Breaker, right? So the King Breaker is my primary, but even if I'm not using my ACS, it's still gonna get proficiency rank just because it's on the build that I'm using. So if this is my loadout, all of this will get proficiency rank, including the skills. So that's just something for you guys to keep in mind when you guys are using this. You will get XP for all of that. Now, if we go back to the expertise level, right? And we go, I wanna do the heartbreaker because that's where I'm leveled up the most. I, I just been playing with that the most and we are proficient. You can see I have some that say expertise one, right? So that means I can still donate at the bottom, it says upgrade, I can still, donate those materials, which I'm a little bit short on one of them, 
and upgrade this piece. Now, there is some that I haven't even touched, like this piece right here. It's just proficient. That means that the upgrades, I can upgrade if I want. You can see they're all green, so I can upgrade this to Expertise 1, but at the moment, I am picking and choosing what pieces I wanna go. Now, look at this one. This one is 2, so this one hit my max Expertise. So I can't even upgrade this any higher than this because it's already at Expertise 2. It's giving me 2% armor for this one piece, and well, I am expertise level. So the next time I can level this piece up again, which I most likely will, is once I get to expertise level three. Now, a lot of you guys asked the question, well, what is the fastest way? Well, like I said a second ago, running pieces, more pieces at once will give you more levels, right? So these pieces right here, by using them, they're gonna give me more XP. So whatever I'm doing, whether I'm running countdown, whether I'm running bounties, whether, whether I'm just running around the open world killing enemies, whether I'm running raids, having this on here is going to be the fastest way. Now, since this is proficient, it kind of sucks, but the next thing you need to do is swap over to another build that you haven't got proficient. Like right now, I'm currently working on my Eclipse builds. And you look right here, proficiency rank three on these pieces. So that is the next build I'm working on. But I've already done this with another one. I was actually doing this with Hunter's Fury. And if you look right here, we're already proficient. I just haven't upgraded it. So ideally what you wanna do is pick builds that have multiple pieces and that's probably gonna be your green build. So you have a lot of builds out there, Aces and Eights, Hunter's Fury, you have the Foundry set, you have the new Heartbreaker set. You also have high-end builds that run like three-piece Empress International. So what is that gonna do? Well, that's going to give you more XP. If you see, I'm proficiency rank five and I've only used this a little. Yes, you will still get XP from the other ones, but doing it this way is it's going to allow you to level up those pieces, get them more proficient, faster, and then when you get over here, you'll notice your expertise level is higher. It sucks that you have to run multiple builds to get this expertise level higher, but that's just gonna be the fastest way to do it. Making different builds, playing with different builds, playing with different play styles is 100% gonna be the better way to do it. Now, when you play Countdown, you get a lot of materials, and if you just donate all junk, you just put it for junk, you donate all, you'll start to see your expertise level also go up because a lot of that material that you're donating, you're leveling up. So that's just something for you to keep in mind, and that is currently what I found to be the fastest way to get your expertise level up is by running builds that run three or more of the same pieces and obviously those gear pieces are going to be the better builds to run to get that done so hopefully this helps you out hopefully you guys get grinding and remember this is going to be a grind it's not going to be something you can do overnight so have fun level this up as you go and let's see what everybody's expertise level is if you could in the comments let me know what your expertise level is and what level you have gotten yours too. I'm only level two and I haven't been really grinding it too hard because I've been playing with the same build over and over. But yeah, um, I imagine if you grind really hard, some of you guys might be up there, but I'm currently level two and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who are maybe 10, I would say. Or maybe there's some people who are higher, I don't, I don't know. That is it guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Thanks again for the support. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Hopefully this helped you guys out. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, hey, nothing but skills out.